Master Tech Mark here again. I got a lot of response from the last video that I made and I wanted to address the uh, PO440 code uh, a little uh, more in depth um, because it is such a common code and um, I just wanted to explain a little more about it. Let me go ahead and uh, go back to that information uh, about the code so I can pull a picture up of the circuit. Uh, but basically I heard from a lot of people saying that on modern cars they will not set uh, the 440 code uh, for a uh, loose gas cap and I'm gonna have to disagree with that because uh, this code will s still set um, if the gas cap uh, is loose uh, but what they have done is they have desensitized um, the circuit uh, so that if the cap is loose it will not set right away but it will be a pending code and will set um, on a certain amount of key cycles and uh, just to review uh, what the EVAP system is is um, in 1996 when they developed the uh, OBD2 uh, system uh, the federal government wanted to stop fuel vapors from escaping uh, into the atmosphere and that required that um, the car manufacturers seal uh, the fuel systems including the gas tank and cap and how they test this uh, back in 1996 every time you turned on the key it would energize a pump that would lightly pressurize the system and uh, basically um, test for leaks uh, using that pressure and back in 96 if you um, had a loose gas cap and you turn the key on and it failed that pressure test it would set the code right away and um, I'm not exactly sure on the year but um, I can tell you for sure 2004 and up what they have done is they if it fails that pressure test on the first key cycle it will set a pending code and uh, will not turn on your check engine light until a certain amount of key cycles and I believe that that is 10 but I'm not sure on that. Um, a couple of other people had mentioned that a gas cap is not the only thing that will set that code and that is correct. I will agree with them that there are a bunch of other things that will also set this code and um, I showed you on the last video that they have a diagnostic chart that you can go ahead and follow this step-by-step -step guide and it will lead you exactly to what the failure is and to pull up the uh, wiring diagram uh, we can see that the circuit is not that complex um, in fact I have seen this EVAP uh, canister purge valve um, cause this code where the valve will get stuck open and allow the pressure to leak off during the test um, and this uh, the test of this component is covered in the diagnostic tree chart um, and of course a blown fuse for this circuit will also set that code so there are a bunch of other things that will set the PO440 uh, code uh, but by far, especially in the state of Florida where people are pumping their own gas, uh, the uh, gas cap where it says right here a loose, missing, damaged or improperly installed fuel cap can set this code and in the case of my neighbor's car when I popped open his fuel door I saw that the um, gas cap was uh, cross-threaded and that was causing a leak that eventually set this code and um, getting the story from my neighbor uh, they had gotten fuel about four or five days prior to the check engine light coming on so again this code may not set right away for a loose or um, leaking gas cap but it eventually will set for that problem so again, thank you for watching, and you can watch my other video uh, for more information on this code. Thank you.